And we just have a photograph up. We don't know a date or anything about it, but we want to hear your stories and your memories about what you've done on Main Street. And if you can help us fill in names of buildings or things that you recognize, we would appreciate that. Do you notice the horses in front? It's kind of dark, but there's at least two wagons there. And we were just talking, it was too bad that in hindsight, we didn't try to do more to save the old bag. Because, you know, there's nothing sitting there, but I guess it was getting run down and kind of dilapidated and mm -hmm. there was a lot of vandalism inside. Um, Jerry Smith, you know, had his electric across the road. And we were just hear hearing about it and, you know, he saw all kinds of stuff and tried to stop it, but it just, it just couldn't be saved. So that was kind of sad. Mm -hmm. and then I, I do remember, and I think, gosh, if I remember right, and you guys can correct me if I'm wrong, it's where Joe Smith has his building now, Joe and Pat. Did that used to be a store right there? Mm -hmm. It was a hardware store. Chimp hardware. Because I remember, we have a picture I vaguely remember walking into that store as a kid and the wooden floor, you know, creaking yeah. and going all the way back. And it seemed like the counter was like straight back. And we bought like fishing sinkers or fishing tackle. Yeah. And that's the all only thing I remember though. I don't remember anything about it. on the right hand side as you walked in. Yeah, yeah I don't remember anything about it. Just, oh, we're going to go fishing at the creek. So we went down there with our bikes and bought some fishing tackle, you know, for probably little or nothing. And then. We thought we were big shots, you know, spending money, but that's all I remember about it. I don't remember like the people inside or what it looked like inside. I just remember a wooden creaky floor and buying fishing stuff. Which way is that facing? I believe that's the south side of Main Street. Anybody correct me? So would that be the store or the old toll gate? I think. I think. And the Smith building or the hardware store all the way to the end. Mm-hmm. Well, her hearing. <laughs> and before McGee Drug got put in there as a little brick building. Monica, what do you think? I'm looking for in where Joe Smith lives now, which was the hardware store. Well, I think it's the oh, far, the all the way to the far right. Oh, okay. Is this looking west? No, we're thinking the toll gate, the store I think so. on the left. It, yeah, Joe's was on. And then Joe's, Joe's all the way down the other end. Joe's is way down on the left. It, if you're, if you're. What year was? We don't know. What year was Mickey Joe? Joe's is the kitty corner from Kathy and Bob. Right. We think that it's, this is Shemp Hardware. Oh, you think that? Oh, okay. Oh, okay. So, so that's that's that okay. Okay. There's that. There. Okay. Oh, yeah. Yeah. That's probably what you're talking about. Yeah. yeah. Probably. Yeah. I just, I just remember, just, you know, old rickety wood. Yeah. And that's Joe's nice. place that's cool. now, right? Right. Yep. Yeah. And we heard various stories about the second floor of that. That at one time they actually built carriages up there, hmm. and then they anybody confirm that. I heard they used to have, like, almost a dance floor or a ballroom up there. Yes. And they, get, they would get to dancing so hard that the whole building would shake, and so they had to, <laughs> they had to put, like, steel rods across to <laughs> keep the building from shaking. No, we were growing up, we always heard, and nobody ever let us down there, that the toll gate had um, a bowling alley in the basement, like a three-lane bowling alley. I don't know. Yeah, that. that might have just been some thing that they told the kids to <laughs> dry us out. But. I think it's just probably a rumor. <laughs> I, mean, I, I don't know. But. So I was just looking at the painting behind you guys. Um, ben Kaufman did that. Yes, and we have a second one that was given to us by uh, Carol. She was a Macmillan granddaughter. It's Carol Stewart Moe. Um, but these were both done by Babe, so there's the bank, so this would be looking east. Correct. So maybe down right in front of Shimp Hardware, and then looking to the east, because you can see the bank, you can see McMillan's. Yeah. And see, Babe used to have a beauty shop right there. See that sign? Uh -huh, the little sign? Above? I think that might say Babe's Beauty Shop or something. And she lived upstairs. Yeah. yeah. 
So then this one is a little closer view of the bank of Macmillan's. And of course the phone company is still, you know, that building is still yep. there. And Macmillan's store has been changed with those additions taken on. So this would have been the phone company, yeah. correct? Is the next one, is that Nellie? Nellie's? I'm not Nellie. I'm thinking of Big Shim. Oh. Big Shim's grocery, is that the next building up? This one. little red one. Do you remember Harriet? Why? Peg Shimp, where she had her grocery store. Her, Peg Shimp store. Do you remember where that was? Or did they build build the telephone company on I know her that property? Macmillan store. Isn't that down the right there? In the mm -hmm, that's yeah. the tall one. That's about. You know, I was in the country all the time. I'm not too... Oh. <laughs> you weren't a city slicker. No. <laughs> I think Peg's store was possibly where the phone company building is now. I, I think. Do. We have some receipts from Peg's store. Was that a so. grocery store? Mm -hmm. Yeah. She used to have an awning out in front, and sometimes she'd put her fresh <coughs> veggies out there in some kind of an elevated oh, bin. I don't that. So Rhonda's found a couple other photos to show. So I remember when it looked like that. Mm -hmm. So that's Etteringer now. That's McMillan's. That's McMillan's. So it's, it's Etteringer's electric now. Though. Yes. Yeah. Yep. And that was their side entrance to go up to McMillan's. Okay, now it's quarters. on the other side, right? Yeah, yeah it's on the other side now. I yep. think, how, all I remember, well, I remember McMillan's store and how it was set up in the, in the inside and everything, but all I can remember is we always went in the east store on the side, and there was wow. this big cement, I mean, it was probably four feet tall, Kind of some iffy steps. Do you remember that, Monica? Well, it was probably a loading dock. The loading dock, dock yeah. Mm. Okay. Oh, yeah. We always went in there. Oh. <laughs> and then when I, now when I think back of it, I thought, oh my gosh, it was such a treacherous entrance. <laughs> That's where the, Monica, wasn't that where the butcher shop part of it was? Is off of the east door there? Um, he used to grind his own hamburger right. and do yeah. his own meat. Oh, yeah. Back in that. Yeah, probably. Yeah. Why did all the kids shopping for clothes in there too? Yes, what? I did shopping for the kids oh, yeah, clothes. They had a dry goods store over there on the other side. That was mm -hmm. our main store. Yeah. You were on the left. And, and, yeah, and she, she sold fabric and thread and just about anything, you know, a small town might need back mm -hmm. in those days. Tennis shoes and yeah. gym shorts and all, we got all our gym stuff. <laughs> you know, we were pretty limited. I mean, my big family of nine kids we had one vehicle and you know if we went to waterloo that was a big deal sure. i i bought dan and joe pajamas at mcmillan's i remember that <laughs> joe do you remember that <laughs> <laughs> so they raised their family there uh -huh. i mean the kids yeah. lived up there like three kids yeah the like barb i know barb Right? No, 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 it wasn't one of their kids. They Cliff. Cliff. Oh, Cliff. oh yeah. Barb's sister. Right. Right. Marshall. Okay. All right. But yet, they grew up up there and they uh -huh. live up there. Mm -hmm. Oh, wow. Okay. Here's one of the bank. Mm -hmm. yeah. Bob Spears. Bob Spears tank wagon right there. Uh -huh. We don't know exact dates on this. Um, what does yeah. the sign say on the window? People's Bank and Trust. This is a really interesting notebook up here. It's got, it's like a ca time capsule of Main Street, but we don't know the exact year. We're guessing late 60s, 70s, around in there. Here's one. Oh, that's Louis. That's my old station. Louis <laughs> <laughs> had it before me. had it before me. Yeah. What's the, there should be a sign hanging there on the is corner. Is that down where um, the beauty shop is uh -huh. now? Yeah. On the corner. Yeah. That's that Louis. It says Louis 66 on the sign. So okay. It's before me. 
So date, date wise. I took it in 70. Three, maybe? Okay. So the little ice cream place will be right to the right? Yeah. That picture? Mm -hmm. yeah. Right. Nice. Yeah. I don't remember anything about it, just that we want to get ice cream there. You can still see the, the foundation of the, mm -hmm. in the drive or the road. Main, yeah, yeah, there, there it is. There it is. Mm -hmm. Miller ran that for years. And an old lean to building where they're recycling in the background. Mm -hmm. Jeez, that's been there forever. Mm -hmm. Bob Schimp's garage for yeah. his silo company yeah. when he took it. No, the this city is owns it. They use it for a silo show. Is interesting. Yes, I love it. That's so that would have been. Where George and Barb ran. That's where Bagby's is now. Yeah, Fritz and George Petey behind, yeah. before them. And my grandpa built, actually built that the front part. Yeah, that's such a cute little building. Uh, and then he put, a, yeah. put the apartment above the garage. Yeah. So this is where Bagby's was then? This, this one mm -hmm. burned down, right? No, Bagby's is across the street. Oh. No, no, that that, that is Bagby's. Bagby's. Yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. We the, just looked at the one across the street. Yes, that's right. That's the old fire department across yeah. by that yellow oh, yeah, truck. Yeah. Ruth Renz's house there to the left. Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. It was Bobby, Bobby's station. Bobby had the station. I yeah, it was DX there. when Bobby had it. It was. It was Phillips when Fritz and George had it. One thing I remember about that is going down and they had the old school of pop machines where you, like a quarter or whatever, then you pull the glass bottle out of the machine and then you, you had the opener right there on the uh -huh. side. Actually, I think that was over at Louie's. Oh, was it? I was thinking it was on this well, one. He had one. Bobby, Bobby had one. Was okay. it sitting there? Louie had one where it cost, I think, seven cents. You had to put in a nickel or two pennies. <laughs> 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 so that's now the store. Yeah. That must have been after the fire. Yeah. 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 Yes. We go down to the cafe after all the ball games. Pool and pinball in the back. Mm -hmm. I just remember sitting in the booths. And... The booths that were 50 years old at that time. <laughs> probably. <laughs> They're probably still there. I don't know. When did it change to, like, Tollgate? When did it, was it called that? Um, somewhere in the 70s. Okay. And didn't Wellner's live up above the cafe? They lived across the street in that property that George Jensen owned. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. Did they never did live upstairs? Uh, Fonda if, if they found a Leonard. Leonard, that's his. I couldn't think of his first. Oh. I think they did live upstairs. I don't know. Somebody Maybe had I dreamt that. <laughs> Who was that? Those steps would have been hard for them to climb. Well, he had a bad. Leonard had a bad arm. Oh. <laughs> they may have lived upstairs, but for the most part, I remember them living across the street there. Yeah, you look on the left, that there was uh, George J Jensen lived there. Yeah. Uh, and George and Barb had one side, and Fonda and Leonard had the other. Oh, really? Yeah. Okay. Don and George. So that was to the west of McMillan, yes. right? And then here's like the second half of it. Ah, there you go. And you guys had a lot of cool stuff growing up in Dunkin'. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they had all the good stuff. Didn't we they? had we had Frenchies in the arcade for a little while. Uh, yeah, exactly. <laughs> that arcade was good. Of course, when we were growing up, we didn't think it was very neat. Oh, sure. <laughs> Does that car help date anything? I'm not good on cars. Truck's a uh, 60 something, I think. Ford, it looks like. Is that your Cadillac, Martha? Sure, <laughs> 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 At the barbershop. 
off. Okay. Now, is that pegs? That with, was with the post things? office for a while. Okay. And it may have been pegs before that. Yes. Just trying to figure out what's sure. sitting out. Is this the other side of the road? Oh, okay. What side of the road is that? Or what are those buildings now? That's on the McMillan side. Oh, okay. <coughs> That's before the telephone company, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, see that green sided building with the brick front, that was where Margie Reckmer had the phone company for years. But what's that outside stuff? That's what I'm trying to figure looks out. Looks like plants. They have it at sale? Uh, I think he was... I I'm saying air compressor. Because of those windows there in the front, I think he had it there. You don't know, suppose that's after a flood and they're trying to that's dry out. That's what I wondered. Sidewalks left. Yeah. Because yeah. there are several, let me start pulling those out, flood pictures in here. What was the lady's name that ran the laundromat for a while? Maybe Honeymore? I don't know. That's what I thought. She lived in that building for a while. Who was that? Betty Hunnamiller. She ran the oh, yeah. laundromat. Mm -hmm. Then the Legion Hall was down. Yeah, on down the street. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they got. That must be the flood. It must be. That yeah. That's the library. That must be the latest one. Because right here it shows the Legion Hall in this painting. Is that back on that building with the library? I think it's even more? before that. Really? What was it before that? Is there a credit counter too go off? There's one of the floods. Yeah, there was an old oh old phone house. company building. Yeah. Oh wow. There's a little bit of water. Whose house? Or is that a business? Babe's That's Babe's? That's Babe's? Yeah. Okay. And that would be Neva Sikako's house there on the right. So we're we looking south? Yes. Okay. And the hardware store would be on the other side of it. I mean, it's not shown in the mm -hmm. picture, but it'll be on the other side of this house. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, wow. That looks like it's from Shemp Hardware Corner. Yeah. Any idea when that flood was? There this was one about 1950 or so. I don't know if that's when that was. Is there a date there on the bottom? 1825. It says August, AUG, I think, upside mm -hmm. down. There was another one in 1968. 68 is the one I remember. I just said that. <laughs> <laughs> I was contributing. Uh, that's oh, there's north. a DX, Isn't right? That's the there? Yeah. yeah. On the that right. Must be 
flood water that got my folks' his house came off the hill. Oh, really? It Down? It sounded like a waterfall going across the road. Oh, my God. Yeah, it was awful. Yeah. Wow. So we got the water mm. from the back side. Yeah, I didn't think I We had about three water. feet in our base. How much? About three feet. Oh, mm. really? It heaved the floor. Yeah. What's that from? Oh, wow. There's so much pressure. July 1959. So do you recognize us? <laughs> but that could mean just when they had that picture developed. Oh, yeah. It doesn't okay. mean that yeah. Yeah. they had snow in July, maybe. You know, sometimes. Yeah. 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 It, when you took them, you had to wait until you got the film all right. mm -hmm. yeah. um, painted and yeah. used, uh -huh. used up. The yeah. East side of town? Hard time. Is that the, the two story house? Is that Kleckner's or what used to be? I don't think it is. No. I think they have they had a big front porch, but I think it extended the width of the house. Okay. But see, there's newer homes. Yeah, that's right. right. Mm -hmm. That's where this is. Figure out. I thought maybe this was Greeley Humbert's house, but I don't think it is. Oh. That looks like snow, doesn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's what we were yeah so, right, the July date. <laughs> Unless they had snow. Well, it could be Let's hail. hope not. <laughs> Is that a person standing there? Yeah, actually, it's a woman, I think. Kind of hard to tell. I can't figure out where that's at. I don't know. I mean, if we could identify those house, newer homes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I, I don't recognize that big structure at all. I suppose there's a possibility. Well, never mind. Mm. Oh. I don't think it's got the right shape. Rhonda's got a blacksmith picture in there, mm -hmm. blacksmith shop picture. Yeah, I'm not sure where that is either. There's some rescuers, anybody know? Frank Smith, Frank Smith. Frank Smith. and his dad, Kenny. You got, yeah. yeah. Kenny on the left and Frank yeah. with a cigarette. Yeah. I don't know who that is behind Frank. I don't see enough of a face. So that's Main Street again. You can see some of the signs. Should be one of your brothers. Mine? Yeah. It doesn't look like it. No? Unless it would be Jerry Smith, the, you know, uh, the other uh, son and brother. Somebody behind that one, too. Mm-hmm. I see a hat. Sounds like that's the top of it. See, there's a younger kid yeah, there. there's right another here. person back there. Yeah. yeah. Uh -huh. There's a yeah. the yeah. yeah. mm -hmm. yeah. And where was that? That's it's still it's there. It's still there. Down it's, across uh, from where they go into the park, where they where they made that, um, you know, where the lot down towards the creek. Yeah. Down, across down towards the, the on creek. That, on that corner. Where they put and all the food trucks for Duncan and Dave. Yeah. It's, it's down that street toward okay, the bridge. Okay. Yeah. Lincoln yeah. Street is the one. That I was I was walking by that the other day, just for a walk, and I looked at that building and I thought, my gosh, that building isn't very big for you know. Probably what they were doing. I it was don't full know. of stuff. <laughs> yeah. Machines, yeah. 
So where was that? That was that burnt down. That's yeah. down on the end of Main Street on the yeah. north side. Okay. You know where Bobby and Kathy Rigdon live? Yeah. That house was actually the office for the lumber yard. Oh, okay. And well, that was right next door. Yeah. <clears throat> that was an arson fire. Oh. So where Bobby and Kathy live is to the right of yes. the picture? Yes. Okay. Whose house is that? Um, it was a Don Christian that lived down there for a while. He had kids that went to school there. I don't know who lived there at this particular point in time. Mm -hmm. I was an East Side kid, so I didn't get over myself. <laughs> so, Wishing well is still there. Is it in that picture? Oh, that's a motorcycle or something. Isn't it? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this one's the same thing, just a far, little bit farther to the right, it appears. Because it's the same motorcycle. Mm -hmm. The creamery was the one. So I'm the thinking right. they would kind yeah, of. Yeah, okay, my dad home. Like that? Had oh, sorry. a cream route, not a milk route, a cream route. Yes, and I used to go with him. Yeah, there you and, go. And um, they had this huge butter churn in there. Do you remember that? The what? In the in the creamery, this huge butter churn. Um, yeah. I often wondered what happened. What happened to that? That's the old ready mix. Bob and John Shemp's yeah, ready mix. Yeah, yeah. and Turner before that, wasn't he? Uh, or he had the silo He company. had the silo company, yeah. So is that kind of where the co-op is now? Or? It's um, to the east of the co-op. Okay. Is there a pond west of the co-op? A pond? West? No, north. Across? North. Across the railroad tracks? Yeah. Is it still there? Uh, Are you talking I about the know. sand pit? I don't know. Something. I just remember there being something yeah. back in there, and I was, was going to ask them. Yeah, there's actually two of them there. Remember the it's, old one? I remember you used to go up over the railroad tracks yeah. Yeah. to it. Yeah. The new one is on the right, and the old one is on the left. I mean, uh, the other way. Yeah. This is my right. Used to be some big snapping turtles back in there. <laughs> <laughs> mm. And that building Anybody is still there, it? but it looks different now. And what would this have been? They used there actually was a, a funeral home there at one time point in time. Well that's on the so, south side of the street. Mm -hmm. And over here would be the toll gate. Now. Okay. Or the store. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Again, my grandpa used to spend time with the bodies that were in that. Somebody had to be there. Yeah. Yeah. He spent the night there. Really? Mm -hmm. yeah. Eggs was on the other side of the road. Glenn Grinnell. Oh, was it? Grinnell. Oh. Okay, yes. Yeah. yeah. This would be on the south side here. Yeah, and Peg's was across the street. Oh, okay. Well, at least they had flowers hanging out on there. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Steve Wissing's body was in state there. I think really? that was one of the last ones. Mm. Wow, I didn't remember the Yeah, Steve was, Steve was in my class. And I didn't remember we had a funeral home. Wow. I don't well, it wasn't, it was just a. Only for something else. Oh, okay. Garden memories. I, I don't. I couldn't tell you. I don't know. I think it was garden memories, but I'm not sure. But they weren't there a long. I mean, a long number of years. No, no, no. Four or five years, would you mm, say? Yeah, probably. Well, 
but I imagine that was probably someone's residence at one point in time. Mm -hmm. Probably upstairs, you know, at least. It almost looks like it would be where someone would live. See, there's curtains up in the uh, on the gray side, you know, on those first set of windows, but mm -hmm. there's nothing here. Mm -hmm. Here's the telephone. Yeah. And yeah, there was a, a clinic in there for a while. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Was it Barry Hill? Mm -hmm. I think so. Dr. Barry Hill? Dr. Manus was, was, was there, there for a while too. Carol Shemp. Um, Les's wife, Carol. Les's ex wife, Carol. Married a doctor. Um, I don't know if they were married anymore, but he was down there. He was downtown for a while. That's the barber shop. Right. And see that building next to it, we've been talking about Peg's grocery store. That's mm -hmm. where the grocery store used to be. And then I think when Peg went out of business, the, the post office took over that space. So is that on the north or south That's on side? the north, yeah. yeah. Do you remember when Sue Knievel I was just going to say, that, yeah. That was her shop. That's what I was going to say. Sue and then Jill Rourke. Jill yeah. Rourke was in there for a while. Yeah. <coughs> and that got demolished. We had a high wind and the front of it actually went forward. Mm. And so that building got demolished. Okay, this is two put together. That used to be a bar there on the left. I can't remember who ran it. Yeah, it was what? A bar. bar. I think McGarvey's ran it for a while, and Ken and Marcia Smith ran it for a while. But I don't remember what the name of it ever was. It was kind of a rat trap. <laughs> <laughs> City maintenance shop now. Mm -hmm. That was the laundromat. Blues in the background. Mm -hmm. Ooh, God, that's my mom's car sitting here. <laughs> <laughs> she used the laundromat every week. It's an old fire station. Probably water Probably ball. A water ball trophy. That's <laughs> <laughs> another flood picture. One of the co op buildings? I don't know. It used to be one of the Luxembourg was the co op. That was right at the end of the main on the right hand side, I think. I don't know if it's still there. That looks like the same crew from that other picture. Oh, the guy with the hat at the same motor. Thing. a depot. <coughs> Where was that? Going off to the sand pits. Okay. Remember it now? 
It looks familiar. We have the signs off the building downstairs that say Dunkerton. What's that to the right? <clears throat> the red. I think those are grain dryers. I think you're right. So would this be the west side of the tracks or the east? That kind of south. North, north side. No, south side. Yeah. We'll go out. Looking east. We'll go out and look at that okay. big picture. We've got an aerial photo that actually has the depot okay. in it still. Yeah, it's out on the wall. It wasn't very big. <laughs> and in March, our topic is the railroad. And I think it was our first event that we held that someone talked about buying a ticket and riding to Owine to watch a movie. Oh, well, oh. I not that, but I rode the last train. Did you? Yeah. There's a picture of the Moeller kids and my sister and I, mm -hmm. and Mrs. Nye, mm -hmm. who's with the Moeller boys. Okay, so I'm confused. Doesn't the train track run north, north and south? Well, it's no, diagonal. East and west. East and west. <laughs> no, north and, well, north and south there. <laughs> it's not it's true. Yeah, you're right, you're right, you're right. Should north we and go south. Okay. that aerial photo and see if we can get a yeah. placement of that? Yeah. Let me, uh, so this would be looking. Let me pause this. So this would be on the east side. I mean, it, it, I'll get that. I'll get that. <laughs> this was really hard to use. The, <laughs> <don't think> much. <laughs> the viaduct is right there. Oh, okay. So you're looking towards the viaduct okay. on the co op. Kind of a northeast. So yeah. then, so then you you are looking looking east, like northeast. Well, kind northeast. Of like northeast. Yeah. 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 Northeast. Okay. Okay. This one shows the viaduct a little better. Yeah. There you oh, okay. I think those grain dryers were Carol Hopley's building down there when he was building that kind of stuff. We we're trying to figure out when they took the viaduct out. Um, I would say 20 years ago. It was after 2004. Because I went over it every day when I took Kayla to daycare. <laughs> so I know it was after that. Well, that'd well, be about 20 years ago. Will this work? Yeah, close. Let me see. Yep. Okay, so the depot is this little tiny building right here. Can you see the railroad tracks running? So there's the depot. We can maybe get the visual. So this is a fairly new picture, isn't it? 97. <laughs> when did the depot get torn down? Or I don't know. So is there still a road going over to the pond? Can you get back in there? Is that sure? I went down there the other, well, been a month or two ago, and I wasn't sure yeah, where it is because it's. Yeah. We found it. Well. We used to ride our little our dirt bikes back in right. the So there was bike trails. Yeah. yeah. And then you know we was there was actually like a floating dock type of thing that if I remember correctly because it was scary because you could see like the chains right going down into yeah. nothing, and somebody said, "Oh, don't swim in there. It's somebody drowned in there." So then we got out scared and nobody ever went back. And so whether that's yeah, that's true or not. The one on the right, on the one on the left, that you went across the track. I think so. The there was some big carp in there. Yeah. Mm. We'd always ride our bikes back in, and then I think the, whoever owned the land didn't want us to get hurt or get sued, so they kind of shut it down or bulldozed all of our trails over. But I just noticed that the ball diamonds in this picture, so it looked like a fairly yep. recent picture. Back a little bit. It's right there. Right. Yeah, right there. there. On the very big one, huh? Your Move your finger. Move your finger. There we go. There, there we go. go. Oh. <laughs> so the big steel building is still there, right? That's part of the co-op. On the bottom there. I think it's still there. This one? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I think. Then the then the park would be up to the top, and then the viaduct a little bit later. Top left. Top yes. left, yeah. Mm -hmm. Cause yeah, 
yeah, to the top left would be the old trestle railroad bridge, right? Mm -hmm. It's a pretty neat picture. Yeah. Wasn't very big, wasn't compared to everything else around it. So this is what you're talking about. That's a little deeper now. And that burned down? Or what happened? Or is that? I think they, they tore it down. Oh. This is depot number three. The first two, mm -hmm. each one burned, and then that one they eventually just tore down. Rhonda did a lot of research last we time that to figure it out took us the, the year. Hours. <laughs> And it was keyed off the ball diamonds, right? The ball, the new and the ball complex trees. and dugouts wow. and no dugouts. Really? <laughs> and some trees oh, being planted? Yes. Yeah. 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 See the, you can see a pond in that picture. Yeah. And look at all of our hop. It's basically empty. <laughs> the old water tower is still there. Mm. Yeah. Mm. There's old school building. Fire stations out there. Hmm. Your house is there. Yeah, it's there. Yeah. But I think the corn crib is gone. I think just the foundation is there now. So we spent almost two hours last time <laughs> going over this. We had Calvin Smith here, who grew up on the west side of town, and then Ross was representing the east side of town. <laughs> you know, um, I might have told you guys this the last time, maybe just a few that were out of the house, but the people that you're getting our Robert said he used to spend a lot of time in that depot when he lived down in Lincoln. He said he he and his buddies would steal cigarettes from their parents and then go <laughs> and, and if you walk in, you know, you've been in it, right? You walk in it and the little ticket booth is right to your left. The whole back left section, he said, used to be booths. And you'd oh, just really? sit there and hang out and wait for the train to come. And huh. He said his friends would steal cigarettes and made a rat art out because he's not here to speak for himself. But <laughs> he said they'd, they'd sit there and watch the trains go by. And, you know, they, I don't think he ever wrote them, but he said he remembers that. And then the guy from the rural water, when they were coming through, he swung in and he said, oh, where did you get this? He goes, I remember sitting in my kitchen back in the early 70s. And they're like, hey, there goes our depot. And it was on a trailer <laughs> going down the road. He said he thought it was 73 when they moved it. So. Where was it originally? In Lincoln. Down by Lincoln, Iowa, by Tama. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I well, had a friend that lived there. Yeah. And I, I absolutely, I'm so upset with this now. We were going to, we were going to sell our house years ago. And I'm glad we didn't because we wanted more space for the kids. We wanted to move into town, and my wife was used to living in town. And so was I. So we thought, okay, you know, well, I'm so glad that we didn't sell it. But anyways, the realtor said, hey, do you want the the signs on your Devo? It really makes no difference in the sale. And we're like, no, you can have them. So we sold them to him for like a hundred bucks. And then we decided to stay in the house and I look at that depot every day and I see where that sign used to be. And I'm like, oh, gosh, <laughs> Not that it would, you know, benefit us here, but we'll put it back. Nice <laughs> we'll put them back. <laughs> it won't be the same thing. No, right. And actually we're thinking that we might put Lincoln on one end and Berlin on the other because the original name of the town was Berlin. Yeah, but during World War II, that wasn't a very popular oh, name, sure. so they changed it to Lincoln. So if you go downstairs afterwards, there's a photo of the Berlin station, which is the station that sits out at Joe's. Oh, really? Yeah. Yeah, that would be neat, because I, when I look at the depot now, it's, you know, it's, it's, 
had its wear and tear over the years, but I can picture it like painted and new, and that's what kind of drew me to it. But that's kind of neat. And we'll then, make um, it beautiful. We're hoping it'll get there someday. Yeah. Well, <laughs> I talked to Teresa, and she's like, "Hey, it's it's a go. It looks like it's a go, but I don't know if it's going to be this year yet." <laughs> <laughs> so. Yeah, we just need to move. We got plans for the cement pad that I found that's underneath it. <laughs> it's gonna be our new barbecue fire pit area. There you go. There's supposed to be a school house too. That two of them, after right? the community hall was built, they used to have on Saturday nights you could go down there and skate. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I think. You could get your skate for a nickel or something, and then you know, skate seemed like it was three hours from seven to ten or something. Mm. We and always they, had class parties that, um, well, we vote and decide what we want to do, but we, a lot of times it was have a skating party, and yeah, did you have them there? Yeah, <laughs> I think I knew they brought we always went back. Back. Mm -hmm. yeah. Oh. yeah, we Try went to there too, but skates. yeah. Um, and did they show movies there at one time? Mm -hmm. There, and I remember on the side of where the, I'll call it the corner cafe, you know, they used to show movies there too mm. during the summer months, it seems like. Because, you know, as I mentioned before, you know, I grew up with nine kids and money, of course, was tight and transportation was almost non existent. So these things to us were a big deal, mm -hmm. you know. Cause we didn't get out, I mean. <laughs> the flood took, um, there used to be a roller cabinet. Uh -huh. Remember that? That was full of skates when the flood hit. So they all got trashed. But I was up in the movie booth. It's still there, I think. Mm -hmm. I think the projector's still the down projector there. The projector was still up there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's the old grocery store, Dick, Dick Baldwin, Baldwin there. Yeah. Mm. And Letchford's after that. And we we still have the sign. The sign is coming from Letchford's that was on there. I think Juan Stefan still has it. Or maybe, maybe somebody else is still on it. Anyway. We got a nice trailer now. <laughs> hey, we're lucky to even have a post mm -hmm. yes. yeah. We are. Um, we traveled to Montana last summer to see one of John's brothers, and some of their post offices in those rural towns are literally those backyard garden sheds. Mm. That's what their post office is. It's basically just a place to pick up your mail. Mm -hmm. I know I was at a meeting once, and somebody was saying something about, you know, the condition of our post office, and I made the same comment. We're lucky that we even have a post office mm -hmm. here. And with the hours that they offer, you know, so many of them, they sort the mail and maybe the window is open for an hour and that's it. The old Sharma Park Bridge. Mm -hmm. The design of that building, probably or that bridge, probably holds back more water than it lets through. You know, it, yeah. Yeah. It's got a lot of bullheads off that bridge. <laughs> I am going through a whole box of things that we got from Claudia Vaucon, and she's got a photo of them building that bridge. So it's that same view, but it's all brand new concrete. And what year was it built in? I think it's on the plaque. Mm -hmm. it is I don't plaque. recall. I know we have a rubbing of it downstairs. I think it was like 1920, something like that. Is that Could somewhere? be. I know it's a historic. I thought it was 19 something. Maybe it was like 08 or 
And it's got a historic plaque on it. Yeah. yeah. It's still standing, but without, it's only got the pillars. Yeah, it doesn't have the walls. There, that's a good photo. So is that in Dunkerton or not? I'm not sure. Look at the... The sign. Bobby and Kathy Rigdon's house. That's is. their house. Okay. Larry and Sandy Loban bought it after the fire and mm -hmm. made it into what it is now. Mm -hmm. it's a beautiful house. Mm -hmm. Larry is a perfectionist. building in the center, I think that used to be their main office, mm -hmm. didn't it? Mm -hmm. Yeah. The scale was to no, the left of that building there. No, the scale house is on the left. Yes. And then Claude and Irma did move there after they got out of the grocery business in the building. That's Grandma McMillan's yeah, old house, and then Claude yeah. and Irma moved down there after they got out of the grocery business. So where is this at? Was this well, the right? city hall maintenance shop is on the right side. It's still standing. Mm -hmm. Oh, is that where John Ortner lived in yeah. that house? Oh, yeah. okay. It looks different now yeah. because they have the ramp. Yeah. I think that's the Heine Winery there in the left, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> you that? Yes. Does anybody have any like shirts or anything from that? Or I have a Heine Winery button. on the end across from Shimp Hardware. Well, that and where the laundromat used to be. Uh, he had that down there. there. Yeah. And when, I think Inglemills owned that building and Dad just rented it. And then they wanted to put the laundromat in, so that's when he moved to that other oh, okay. place. All right. and was there a car dealership in there before him? I couldn't tell you. I don't know. Somebody said that there was bunch of stuff in the attic from a car dealership that was Grinnell, but I don't know who, maybe Joe, because he met Grandpa's brother. Look at the phone. Oh, the yeah, phone. I said phone oh. number four. <laughs> Margie, give me phone four. <laughs> <laughs> 
To Mahay Drive, the old Mahay Drive. That's what it looks like to me. Can you read it? Next to it's got words over the top. A Presba. Yeah, Presba. Presba Grocery. Now this one we just featured on a Museum Monday, a similar photo. This is Cummings Grocery, which I think was down on the, the far west end. I think the American Legion Hall was there in that same building. Or would that be Dale Cummings' parents? Grandparents. Grand. Grand or great, I'm not sure. But yeah, his family. Circa, you know, twenties, maybe. Those old cars. Yes. Now there was some kind of a car dealer or shop that had a hearse in the front window. We've heard stories about that all before your time. Yeah, I think so. Because it was a horse there, I can remember that. Is that on Kinsley Ave? Mm We got quite a few Macmillan items from the Claude Nermis granddaughter. She said that her mom had the butcher block from Macmillan store for a long time, and then she was downsizing and she sold it. So it's gone. Okay, I think this is, I think this is Cummings store again. Cram full of stuff. Do you know um, their visitors? 
please? I would have to look. I know we've got it documented. I, I want to say C.A. Cummings, but I'll have to look. Oh, okay. Yeah, and my parents were, I don't know their name, I heard them right. Clayton and Julian Cummings. Yeah. Yeah, and my dad worked at the telephone company up there. Yeah, yeah I, that's the first I'd heard of a, a store. Uh, yeah, even an, another, well, I, yeah, I do remember Peg store. Mm -hmm. I had no idea about this. Yeah, well, um, Dave, Dave Cummings was here a few weeks ago. Oh, yeah. And because they sold the farm. Right. I, yes. Yeah, I saw him when he was here. Yeah. yeah. And so he spent a lot of time downstairs and told us stories and and brought us his telephone, Dale's telephone. Yeah. Did, did you see it downstairs? Yeah. 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 Then he had, had you call somebody, right? Well, we ended up, Teresa was involved in that because um, he was staying out at Platy's. And then he was talking with Merlin Platty about all kinds of old stories and, yeah, really interesting things. Yeah. Wow. I'm not sure where that store was, but... It must have been early 1900s, though, because of the date. Yeah. It just it's got the one nine zero. Single digit. <laughs> <laughs> it must be Claude Lance. Yeah. I, don't know. I think we got this from Macintoshes. Phone 47. <laughs> There were a lot of businesses in town over the years. June 14, January 14. Okay. The date 1919 on the top? Mm-hmm. Main Street, that tall building, I think, is the old bank building on the right. Mm -hmm. Look, down here, it says Main Street. Yeah. Have my grandpa document all that stuff. <laughs> and your mom was the biggest advocate of Dr. Tom, wherever it was. Mm -hmm. I think this is the same one except larger. She tried. She didn't get much in my head. Oh. I see it. I think on the left, that's George Jensen's old place on the corner, and then we're Clarence Miller, and then Warren Miller left, I think, is next to it. 
Mm -hmm. You see, that'd be before the toll gate or the corner cafe was, was built. Mm -hmm. That's my grandma. <laughs> okay, I know a little bit about these two pieces. These came um, on loan for a while from Pat McIntosh, and they came from the Buker store, which was out by Harriet's old place, where, where Dennis McGee lives now. That was where Lester was, and there was a little um, store there, and then they, as they, as the town started to develop, they kept two stores, so they had the one out at Lester that um, the, the wife I think it was Harriet, I'm not sure, um, ran that one. And then Mr. Buker and his daughter would come into town and run the store here. And the story was they would sleep on the counters so they didn't have to travel back and forth for two miles um, and then just go home on the weekends. Well, eventually, of course, Lester dried up and they moved um, the business just into town. But those Macintoshes have a relationship back to the Bukers, so that's why Pat's had those. That store was in the vacant lot next to the corner cafe, right? I'm not sure I where where that was. It burnt down on Easter Sunday. She knew the she yeah. knew the date, but not yeah, she's got more detail. Henry Buker and his daughter Maddie were the ones that came in and ran the town store. And that's dated November 19th, 1997. So that's McMillan's down at the bottom, and it has a big dry goods and groceries grocery sign on the side there. And we had the McMillan sign off the building downstairs. That's a great picture. Everybody lined up at the creamery. I think that picture's in Ray Bowers as well. It is, yeah. Look at all the milk cans. Mm -hmm. 
We've got an original photo of this hanging out on this other side of the wall there, but it's pretty faded. So would love to find a better one of it. What's the date down at the bottom? Duncan and Creamery in, you say 1907? I think that's what it says. And it names some of the people in there. Ed Schwartz, the ice man. Is that everything? That's everything. Okay. Well, you still got this stuff. Anybody know what that is? <laughs> this turns a mystery. What is it? It's a hat stretcher. Oh. <laughs> Throwing that expands? Mm -hmm. mm hmm That came from McMillan's. What about that? It's for shoes. Yeah. Stretcher. Mm -hmm. yeah. I couldn't figure this one out. It's just four. <laughs> <laughs> no. It's actually a bunion stretcher. So you would put that in the it's shoe not. where your bunion was. <laughs> Maybe you could use that. <laughs> and then you could wear your shoes again. <laughs> I used to have one of these. Yeah. That, all of these things came from McMillan's. Mm -hmm. Might be kind of dangerous and stable. Yeah. yeah, you always went this way instead of that. <laughs>